Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Tonight channel. Super Mario Debbie's uh, Open to Rank or See rematch as 140 shows support honey doping tests. Super Mario Debbie says he will fight Ryan Garcia again at 140. Davis welcomes a second fight with Ryan and is not abandoning him with all the abuse he is taking from his positive doping tests. It's a classy gesture by Tank Davis extended to helping counter Ryan, not caring about the flack he will receive from some who want to treat him like a barrier and ostracize him. Ryan is arguably the most popular fighter in North America, perhaps even Canelo Alvarez in popularity. 145? He is not even 45. Why can it be at 40? Sage wanted Davis about a rematch with Ryan Garcia. I will fight him at 140. The weight could be a sticking point in a rematch between Tank and Ryan. However, if Tank is willing to accept a little extra money to accommodate Ryan coming in a little heavier at 133-145, this fight can still happen. Look at it like this, the money Tank will make fighting Ryan Garcia in a rematch will be a lot more than he will get fighting guys like Frank Martin or whatever else at 135. Even Shakur Stevenson won't bring Tank the kind of money he can make in a rematch. So it doesn't make sense for the Tank to draw a line in the same, saying either 140 or not fight. The reality is Ryan is too big at this stage of his career to melt down to 140. He is feeling out and he likes to eat, as you can see from watching his videos. Had her and Demon's lifetime ban for Ryan Garcia if he is found to be a cheat. Garcia had us to write in his system following pre and post fight checks after beating Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia currently going through a hectic 2024 after a series of strange social media posts and actions in general, but now that might be sad to strike his boxing career into jeopardy as Daddy Hearn calls from a lifetime ban if he is found to have been internationally using performance enhancing doping. The scandal comes after Garcia defeated Devin the Dream Haney in a fight where he demolished the American fighter by sending him to the canvas on several different occasions, but it was already controversial because he missed the weight for the super lightweight title offered by the WBC, and now the storm has been whipped into even more of a frenzy as he was found to have had Ryan in his system. Not just once did he fail the test for the performance enhancing doping. It happened again on April 19 and April 20s, leading to an outpour of rage at the 25-year-old, with some even going as far to say that his actions could have defeated Haney in the ring, and Herm believes it should be a ban. He should never be allowed to fight again, said Hearn, one of the sport's biggest promoters, in what is a massive statement from one of the most influential men in boxing. He entered the ring with performance enhancing dapping in his system, and now he has to prove he didn't take them intentionally. If he didn't take them intentionally, I feel really sorry for him and I hope innocence prevails. If he did take them intentionally and he cheated, that's another story and he should arguably never be able to fight again. You see clips of him with uh, Patty. I ain't a good look. How long could Garcia be banned for? We only need to look to another current fighter to be able to work out how long Garcia might be banned for. As Conor Ben was also disqualified from competitive after testing positive for clomiphene. Like Garcia, he also tested positive and has protested his own innocence, but the British Boxing Board of Control isn't interested and rejected his appeal despite the national anti-doping panel lifting the ban in 2023. Harold Spence Jr. is the latest target for Ryan Garcia and ending this man. Ryan Garcia has worked to end Harold Spence Jr. and insisted that a fight between him and the former Unified Welterweight Champion will happen. Garcia is coming off a career best performance against Junior Welterweight title holder Devin Haney dropping him three times on his way to victory, but Garcia's win has come under huge criticism after he weighed in 3 pounds over the 140 pound limit and tested positive for Osterine on two of his uh, doping tests around the fight. The failed test ended the treat of a potential suspension 
have not stopped Garcia for calling out several fighters, including Sebastian Fundora, including Sebastian Fundora and Gervonta Davis, in what would be a rematch of Garcia's only professional loss. Now Spence is the last fighter on the lips of Garcia, who took to his social media. To call out the former unified champion, Spence has not fought since his top page defeat against Terence Crawford for the undisputed championship last July. Earl Spence Jr., this time I ain't rolling. I am really want to fight you. The fight is happening, Garcia said. I'm serious. He stole my money from my coach. He is just a piece of shit. Crawford didn't do enough. I'm ending this man. I'm putting him to bed. I'm putting him to sleep. Garcia said. Spence currently is in a legal battle with his former coach Derek James, who trains Garcia, over a pay dispute in which James claims he is owed no less than 5 million for the trainer's verbally arranged 10% cut of Spence's guaranteed purse money for a string of pay-per-view belts. Spence denies the claim and has countered by seeking 200,000 or less from James along with a tourney fees. When Garcia offers Haney a rematch, he said they've been brave enough. When Garcia posted on social media today after being concurred for Devin Haney a rematch to give him an opportunity to avenge his loss from last April. The superstar Ryan is throwing a lifetime to Devin, giving him another chance to taste defeat. Haney would be risking humiliation if he accepted Ryan's generous offer, but he has no other choice. Ryan demolished Devin last April and it was so bad that it will be impossible for him to rebuild without at least trying to avenge the loss. The downside is another loss would certainly send Haney into early retirement, but he will be fleetly rich from the huge payday he will get for the second fight with Ryan. Haney's dad Bill says they want to live in the Hamptons on Long Island, New York, where the billionaires live. Taking Ryan up on the offer for every match will fatten Haney's bank account to where he can afford to live in the swanky Hamptons to rope shoulders with the rich and famous. Haney 25 would be risking what's left of his career in a second fight with Ryan. The way that Ryan shelled the WBC light welterweight champion, knocking him down six times in the fight, with only three being counted by the referee on dirty. Haney would be putting everything on the line in the rematch. I think it's questionable whether Haney will take Ryan up on his generous offer, as he said in an interview recently that he is not interested in fighting him. Potential Haney rematch checklist. Fighting at 140 without a catch weight, 10 pound regeneration clause, secondary weight check in the evening on the fight night, larger per split plus pay per view upside, tapping testing throughout training camp. In other words, I see Haney wanting to be the A type of the rematch with Ryan and with having things titled in his favor to give him the NH. Moreover, Haney has promoted Red Hearn wants Ryan to be given a lifetime ban from boxing for he is testing positive for two tests last April. If Hearn gets his way, that's going to mess things up for Devin. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.